Welcome to lesson 2 of dynamic tension. Today we will discuss the basic foods you should eat to gain weight as a skinny guy. Let's get started. thing we're gonna talk about is what you should be eating the first thing is nuts eggs beans soy you should not be eating soy peas milk and cheese poultry lean meats and fish this is for muscle muscle forming foods the second group is bread macaroni spaghetti cereals meals and flowers whole wheat crackers and potatoes this is for Heat, energy, and gaining weight. The third group is green vegetables, celery and lettuce, orange and lemons, bananas, to tomatoes, squash, berries, melons, herbs, root vegetables, apples and pears, and other fruits. This is which supply the body with life. Fourth group is cream, fat meats, butter, nuts, cooking fats, table and salad oils. This is for warmth and gaining weight. The fifth is this is you should be staying away. Sugar, chocolate, preserved fruits, dried fruits, honey, syrups, jellies, raisins, molasses, desserts, and jams and date and figs. This is for stamina and endurance. You should not be eating a lot of these foods. This is the next group is bran, leafy vegetables, whole wheat, root vegetables, cereals, and fruit pulp. And this is for this is for uh, which aids an elimination of body waste and matter. Okay, so now we're going to talk about some drinks that you should not be drinking. While on the subject of condensed foods, I must not overlook certain drinks. No nation in the world drinks so much coffee and tea as does America. No nation has so many people suffering from nerves and similar troubles. Tea and coffee are stimulants of an artificial nature. There is no real nourishment in tea or coffee. There are actually narcotics and poisons and should be shunned if you value, if you value your health. Instead of soothing your nerves as you think they do, their real action is to paralyze them. You cannot have strong, responsive, keen nerves by paralyzing them, which affect results from the drinking of tea and coffee. The caffeine on coffee and tea is a deadly poison, of course only when taken in concentrated form. Look inside your teapot or a coffee percolator and, and observe the dark brown stains deposited by these poisons. This same condition goes on in the lining of your stomach. Do you think, then, the use of these drinks will give you health, strength, and power? They will not. If you are wise, you will avoid them. Okay, let's talk about some foods that you don't think they are hurting your stomach or health. Also to be avoided are sharp spices such as pickles, pepper, mustard, sauces, vinegar, and all similar foods. These I strongly condemn because they retard the normal action of digestion hardening the lining of the stomach and intestines, preventing the natural secretion of the, gra of, of the gastric fluids which mix with the food in the process of digestion. Perhaps the least harm harmful of spices is salt. You may use a small quantity, but if the foods are properly prepared, they need no addition to bring out their true flavor. The excessive use of salt, mustard, pepper, and vinegar dulls the taste sensibilities so that the real flavors of the foods are not known. Okay, so now we're going to talk about some foods that you should be eating at a meal. At dinner, see that you get a properly balanced meal with the proteins, fats, carbohydrates, minerals, vitamins, and cellulose. This can be assured if you have a vegetable soup, lean meat, or cheese, omelet, etc. Nut loaf, green vegetables, potatoes, fruit salad, or fruit of some kind. If you have potatoes, you do not need macaroni, spaghetti, rice, tapioca, or sago because they are all carbohydrates. If you have peas, you do not require beans or nuts at the same meal. It is hard, hardly likely that you will get too a great a quantity of minerals and vitamins from fruits or raw green, veg green vegetables. So, therefore, 
eat plenty of those. It is better planned, if possible, to have your dinner, the heaviest meal, at midday, and a supper consisting of something not quite so substantial as at noon. Please, please do not make the mistake of eating more than you can enjoy. Do not force food on your stomach. If you are not eating very much, increase the quantity a little at each meal. Remember, you cannot increase the size of your muscles or round out the body to perfection living on a split pea and a glass of water. You got to eat. Each meal should thoroughly satisfy you and you ought to experience a feeling of contentment after eating. In addition to the above su suggestions, take care that you do nothing that will in any way lower the vitality and tear the body down. Conserve your energies as much as possible. Strive to to perfect your body for your particular type of build. Concentrate on gaining strength and you'll be astonished at your progress. I'll now, I'll now say goodbye until lesson number three. Yours for perfect manhood, Charles Atlas.